Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be like the first ever uh, installment of this kind of new series I'll be doing where I'm going to be talking about the actual banner itself and is it worth sparking on it? Now, this may be a more type boring video, so I may just put everything on a notepad so that it's easier for people just to skip to the end of it. If not, you may want to hear my reasonings on if the banner is worth it for you. I will try to cover most things in the banner if I can, in terms of rate ups. Um, I may have to look at the characters too, but generally I'm going to be looking at the rate up, the chances of you getting the character, and is it worth even rolling on a banner. Now keep in mind, these banners will have, um, if you save your single ticket, you will have one single ticket and then three more on top of that. So that's four single tickets. So you know, it's something you some, as I mentioned, you know, you, you can technically single pull into the new unit if that's what you're looking for. Um, there's other things on the banner I may want to talk about. I know fire people are probably already, by the time I was posted this video, every fire player has already rolled in. And in my opinion, it does not matter. But um, let's talk about it. So we're gonna start off at the very beginning. What's on the banner, right? In terms of rate up, right? So we're gonna have to go to the banner draw rates. Now, um, there's actually a couple of rate up things that are not appearing here. So you, I will mention like you see this right now. You see um, Alex, Yul, Rosetta, and Leona. But there's actually a secret rate up if you did not know. So we go down here. So the rate-ups on the banner is Rosetta, this one right there. You see what's on the main page. Then the next rate-up is John the Ark. Oh my god, this is your secret rate-up. They did not put it on there because there's too many units, but there's actually a secret rate-up for John the Ark, the summer one. So just keep that in mind. If you're rolling in the banner and you're like, oh man, SSR, John, why is it John? Because he's rate-up, boy. You didn't know. We gotta look. <laughs> So keep that in mind that John the Ark is rate up. So we're gonna be type here, rate up. So the rate up, right, are Rosetta, Summer, oh, do Summer, John, Summer. Uh, um, okay, so John Summer, Rosetta Summer, and where is the, uh, man, there's so many units, oh my Lord. Somebody, somebody, KMR, anybody, anyone, please save us. <laughs> Summer. Correct. That's the right Alex, right? Make sure, you know, this, there's a couple Alexes, right? The other one had the dagger. To be honest, what I was expecting was like the ultimate troll where they put Alex the dagger right up, but they didn't. You know, now this is the big one for people. This is another secret rate up that we did not see on the main page. So if you look at the main page here, they speak nothing of the katana. But if you're a fire lord, oh, you know. So, you know, you know. You most definitely know if you're a fire lord, because I'm pretty sure everybody losing their mind right now. Oh, Ixaba rate up, oh man. Oh my god, losing, like losing their gosh darn minds and stuff. Now we're gonna do rate up for SSRs only. SSRs is the only thing most people are really rolling for, so I'm primarily gonna focus on them. So, ah, uh, do I even put? I'll put the weapon that Sturm, <laughs> Ixiba rate up, and then we have Yule rate up. So what we're looking at right now here is a five rate up banner, which is whew. now do note that it's a point three or like a point three. Uh, rate up percent right now on all of them so that's actually not the worst rate up actually um so the rate up generally have dropped to around 2.5 i think that 2.5 is like the lowest um 2.5 lowest i ever seen right the lowest i've seen so to have a 0 0.3 is actually not that bad right um, generally, you would like more than 0.3. I think in most gotcha games, it's generally 0.6 for a brand new unit. Oh, wait, hold up. We didn't even speak about the summon. This is one summon rate up being Rosetta summon. So let me uh, put that in there. I think we know what. 
we'll do rate up SSR. So I'm still working the kinks out. I really don't know how to structure this video yet. But as people give like uh, comments and stuff, I can probably go from there on how I want to structure the video. But here we so we got the point three for characters, right? So let's go there and uh, characters, right? So um, and then we have a nice little summon right up. Uh, SSR summon. There's only one, so it's Rosetta and Rosetta Summer. And that's at a 0.5, right? Generally, summons are 0.5. Yeah, 0.5. So, so this is what you're looking at, right? Um, I never seen, I never really see you lower than 0.5, so I, I wouldn't, I can't tell you from personal experience, but 0.5 is about what I always generally see. Now, whew, this now this banner, right? In terms of rate ups, the rate ups aren't the worst, right? As I mentioned, I, like the lowest I've seen is 0 0.250. So in terms of the actual percent, it's not the lowest, but the chance of getting Alex, I believe, is around one in every 15, 10 rolls, I believe. One in 15 or, or yeah. This would be about one 15 and one, or one in 20 around that area. So if you're just rolling for primarily Alex only, you don't have that great of a chance of getting her. So you keep that in mind. Um, you you do have a quite a bit of a competition here. You're most likely probably not going to get her in a spark. Um, you can. It's definitely possible. You can get her in a single ticket for all that matters, right? But what you're really looking at is or is this right here, Ixaba. Um, it's pretty much going to be the primary thing most people are going to be rolling for. With Ixaba rate up though, it's still only 0.3. It would have been better if it was not a summer banner actually. Um, the fact that it's a summer banner does hurt the Ixaba rate up because there's so many rate ups. Like generally, right, if we're looking at a, a standard Grand Fest gotcha, um, my fault. Yeah, it's Grand Fest, right? That's what it's called? No, Flask Out. Um, we're looking at standard flask out. Generally, they have one new character, maybe the rate up, and um, on the rare chance, a story character or, or older character, but usually like three characters. This one, you have what four, so it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. You, <laughs> there's a lot of competition here, so if you're rolling, um, it's a limited unit, right? So always keep that in mind that I'm going to tell you to more likely roll on the limited unit. But the one problem here is that if you're rolling right, and let's say you have these units, you're kind of asked out to be honest, because like Alex is the only new unit with a rate up. You don't have Caliostro, you don't have um, any of the new units of 2019, right? But keep in mind that there will be another banner, a life has banner in the future. So um, next banner, it should be a like fest. A legend fest, um, a le legend fest. It's generally a two day banner, all 2019 rate right up, right? So if you're like, if you don't really care about Ixaba, right? If you don't care about the katana at all, um, do note that there will be another banner, a leg fest. I, d I don't think we're gonna have any 10 rolls starting it, but. It will be a Legends Fest banner at the end of the month with all the summer characters right up. Um, it should be only for 2019 ones. But keep in mind this what how many 2019 ones, like what? Alex, um, Anthra, or Anthra, whatever her name is. Um, I think Caliostro, that's three. Sendafon, four. Europa's five. Helen Malice, six. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one. Maybe it maybe maybe it's only six. And then you have the two summons being Rosetta. Oh, there's three summons actually: Rosetta, Yggdrasil, and Satire. Um, so it's a it's a lot of it's gonna be what three summons and six characters, right up. It's gonna be a pretty bad banner. I don't believe they're gonna rate up anything else outside of those things but if you're rolling for only one particular character that banner will be worse than rolling on like if you're go 
If you're only rolling for Alex and that's the only summer unit you're rolling for, this banner is probably preferable. But if you care, if you missing a lot of the summer units, that banner in the future will be the better banner to roll on. So when we re looking at this banner, what you should be looking for is, are you going to roll for the Katana? Um, that's all personal preference. The, just know the rate is 0.30, so you know, it's not that great to roll for the Katana only. I would recommend if you're rolling on the banner, if, you, if you're a um, fire main, um, at least if you care about Alex as well, then it's a good banner to roll on. Um, I, if you have no rolls at all and you cannot spark at all and use once summer units, I would recommend saving for the Le Legends Fest at the end of the month because that's your highest rate of getting all the new summer units. If you care about your pool of fire, you know, for GW, this banner is pretty much, you, pre, you, you probably already rolled on this banner before I even put up this video, all right? So it's like no point of me even telling you to roll on the banner or not. I will not be giving any opinions on the actual characters or summon itself. I'm just talking on a chance of you getting the stuff, right? Um, while, whether the unit is amazing or God tier, I don't think that really matters. Um, she's not but um <laughs> if the unit is like amazing or god tier then um i don't think that matters too much but this is the chance of you getting her and how it's going to be for you now do tell me if i need any way to structure this a little bit easier um i never really done a video like this before so i really don't know in what direction should i go i i probably i wanted to do each element but to be honest because summer is a little bit different than every other banner right like for example like this is nothing like a regular flash gal like as i mentioned a regular flash gal would have new character rate up generally one character sometimes two they'll have a weapon rate up and and generally an sr and they usually don't have summons for for flash gal but sometimes they do but that's how a normal flash gal banner goes because it's summertime though, they're trying to push everything at you. They gotta bring in the old units, bring back the new, bring out a new unit. Then you gotta bring out a summon. <laughs> it's a little bit different. So it's gonna be a lot more um, compact on rate ups than your, your average banner. So just tell me how you guys feel about it. If you, need, you have any more questions and you need help, just leave it in the comments. I'll try to answer people's questions on their situation if you're if you want to roll in the banner or not i will try to do this again with the leg fest banner um and like, yeah at the end of the month it, it will be a two-parter banner so it's going to have the first part be the summer units the second part be a new unit and it would be a new story unit generally a new story unit and uh that's about it generally but um Tell me how you guys feel about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.